This video is intended to be instructional for contractors performing work in the state of Tennessee at petroleum underground storage tank sites and specifically addresses soil sampling. Soil sampling is required during release investigations, corrective actions, site checks, in place tank closures, and during the installation of monitoring and recovery wells. Soil borings can be advanced using several different technologies such as air rotary rigs, hollow stem auger rigs, hand augers, and direct push rigs as shown in this video. Soil samples shall be collected with properly decontaminated equipment such as spatulas, stainless steel spoons, mixing bowls, and other equipment. In addition, the geologist logging the soil boring and collecting the soil sample shall ensure they change gloves often and as needed, especially in between intervals and in between soil sample collections. Upon receipt of the soil sample from the drilling crew, the geologist shall split the sample in half lengthwise. One side of the sample shall be immediately placed into a laboratory prepared jar in a manner that eliminates headspace. The jar shall be properly labeled and stored in an ice cooler immediately. Once the potential laboratory sample has been properly stored in the ice filled cooler, the remainder of the soil sample shall be classified and placed in a sealed plastic bag, leaving some air space. The bag shall be properly labeled and allowed to volatilize for at least 15 minutes. The number of soil samples collected or intervals screened along the soil boring may be dependent on the length of the sampler, the facies changes, where groundwater is encountered, and or contamination. After the soil samples have been placed into the laboratory prepared jars and the other half of the sample into Ziploc bags for later OVD screening, the geologist shall continue to log the boring using visual and olfactory methods. Once the soil samples have been allowed to volatilize, the headspace shall be screened with an organic vapor detector. Field screening will determine which samples from the cooler will be submitted to the lab for analyses. The following criteria shall be used when selecting soil samples for laboratory analyses. In other words, the screening data collected during the boring will be used to determine the number of samples from that boring to be sent to the lab for analyses. If OVD readings and other screening criteria such as visual or olfactory indicate soil contamination does not exist, then a single soil sample from that boring will be submitted to the lab for analyses. The sample that's deepest, which is above the bedrock, or zone of saturation, should be submitted. If OVD readings indicate soil contamination does not exist, but visual or factory screening methods indicate soils contaminated, then two samples from that single boring may be submitted to the lab for analyses. If OVD readings indicate soil contamination does exist, then up to three samples from that single boring may be submitted to the lab for analyses. The three samples include the sample with the highest OVD readings, the deepest sample with OVD readings, and the deepest soil sample collected from the boring, which should be above the zone of saturation and or bedrock. This concludes the soil sampling tutorial.